welcome to my brand new channel. My name is Rococo Sparkle and I'm here with my very first video! Today you're going to tag along with me as I get my space ready to plan. Now that I've gotten all my planning gear together, built my shelving unit, and proved to the world that I should not be trusted with editing software, it's time to start tackling that mountain of online shopping shame stashed in the corner of my unfinished room. 16 binders and 6 boxes of unnecessary packaging later, and I was hit with the overwhelming urge to apologize to a fish. I have not used this much single-use plastic in a long time. Sorry, Oceans. I owe you one. As it were, I'm actually really excited to open all this. I didn't peek the whole time I was waiting to film, either. Here you can see my markers and pens getting put away. I have two more of those giant pen binders coming in the mail, so I'll be transferring some things over later. But for now, my goal is just to get my space into some semblance of usable, and that means not having 800 pens taking over every possible surface. Please excuse my puffy red hands, by the way. They're not usually that red. I just don't know where my gloves are, and I'm allergic to the spray that they put on cardboard boxes. So we're all just going to have to vibe for a little bit. I'm fine, by the way. It's not a super serious allergy, and I've got the tools I need in case it does get worse. Anyways, on to my paper stash. I've got this double-sided divider I made to store my different types of paper in. The first side is dedicated to my A4 or standard letter size paper. I went ahead and kept the full reams in their packaging, but sliced the sides open for easy access. The other side is for my A5 or half letter size paper. Since I don't need draft or sticker paper in that size, I went ahead and left it as a single shelf. I may change this in the future as I develop my planner systems, though. Now it's time to start setting up my shelves. Originally, I thought I bought two sizes of binders, 12 2-inch binders and four 4-inch four binders. But clearly I didn't check, and now I have 16 2-inch binders. I'm not sure I'm mad about that, though. It was a little hard getting all my writing stuff to fit without having my organizers in yet, but after a bit of fiddling, I made it work. I also got a 10-pack of bullet journals to use for various endeavors, and I would like to know why it was so hard to get the plastic off. Seriously, this video is sped up. Think about that. Finally, we've got my books. I have more in storage and others around the house, but these are ones that will be living in my room with me for now. Mostly reference book and a couple of novels by one of my favorite authors. Not getting married, by the way. I just like weddings, and one day, maybe I'll get to plan them for other people. After all, I do love planning. Future me a set, though, whenever that happens. <laughs> Overall, I think today was a huge success. Six and a half hours later, and we've got organization. Sounds like a functioning space to me. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check in next week to start planning with me. Love you guys!